How y'all doing? This is Rob Burnham, make your preacher man R&B. This is another episode of Richard Lane Comics. It's time to do another episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Reviews. It's time to review Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Season 1, Episode 5. And what happens on this week's episode is Crane finally gets his body. And once he gets his body, he uh, goes after the turtles. And he's trying to lure the turtles out from hiding so he can fight, fight them with everybody seeing them. Now, everybody already knows about the turtles because in the last week's episode, people actually seen the turtles fighting the the soldiers from Dimension X and trying to help these teenagers. That was from Dimension X. Well, now April has to go and make a story telling people about the turtles. That way they won't be scared of them. And uh, April goes and tries to talk to her boss. And at first he doesn't want to help her, but then she tells her boss that the turtle communicator that she got from Donatello in this episode is actually a turtle death ray and that she'll use it unless Vern lets her make this story about the turtles. So he, he allows her to do this so she goes and makes a story about the turtles. And she makes it after the fight with Crane and the turtles, what happens is Crane turns big and the turtles have to figure out how to shrink them back down. So Leonardo and Donatello go into Crane's robotic body and find the jewel that's helping him change his molecules where he could go big and back to regular size and they knock it out and then Crane starts to go back to regular size. Donatello and Leonardo get out of there before they get uh, crushed and Rafael Michelangelo is using the turtle blimp to attack Crane while all this is happening. Well, they're able to get Crane back to regular size. Then he calls for Shredder for help, but while this was all happening, Shredder and Splinter was having a fight and Splinter was pretty much beating Shredder. And then Shredder dips out, traps uh, Splinter in this uh, energy cage, but Splinter's able to escape. And then Shredder comes and is about to use this muted engine ray gun on the turtles to turn them back into turtles. And Splinter's forced to destroy it, even though that was going to be the only way Splinter would become human again. So let's see after that. While this is happening, Donatello uh, switches out some stuff in their portal. What makes it makes it uh, suck in er the uh, Technodrome and everything. So Splinter, well, Shredder and Crane and everybody else is in Dimension X now. So let's see after that. Other than that, that's all that really happened. My thoughts on this episode is, I like how we see that Splinter sacrificed his only chance to become human again to save his sons. And I like how now Crane finally has his body, so we can stop hearing about that. And I like the aspect that Shredder and Crane and them are trapped in Dimension X, and I like to see how they come out of that. And we'll probably figure out that in the next couple of episodes. But other than that, that's all my thoughts. As always, Rob Burnham, make your picture on my arm to sign out. That's going to be awesome. Still, make sure you're watching my comments. See you next time.